Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest VII for 3DS. In the last episode, we made it all the way over here to, to uh, we saw in the past where the Demon King was. Now we're going to actually try and fight him and stop him in the past. I mean, he, he's already potentially um, done some bad stuff, but yeah, look at him here. Pitiful mortals, pathetic puppets, bags of blood. I would love to hear what this guy would sound like if they did voice acting. But yeah, I'm just going to beat this guy, then I got to take a break. Of course, you won't even notice it. What is... Alright, let's fight. Let's fight you. Alright, Ogdemeyer. We're going to change it to fight wisely. And we're going to use... Let's use this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hot magma. There we go. I don't think that's going to help with this. No. No, look, all that stuff he does. No point to it now. Just going to keep using oomph. Don't even bother with these spells. Just attack, man. Do I have to say go all out here or what? Show no mercy. Start kicking ass here. No, don't put me to sleep. some pretty nasty abilities here, but I hope someone's going to heal Ash. Alright, so now he has gone on to his second form. They're just punching the crap out of this guy. Is anyone going to heal Ash here, or what? There you go, heal yourself. Uh-oh. Whoops. Just keep punching. If anything, I'll handle the healing. He does that one nasty attack that's like... It pinpoints, and it's very nasty. Nope. Full heal. You 
you sons of bitches. I gotta change tactics. Just follow orders. Melvin, you got like all this stuff here. You could be using spells. You're just sitting around just using do sword dance, man. You got multi-heal. You got multi-heal. sword dance, do you? No, you don't. You don't have anything good. I have a boulder toss. Sword dance again. You can do multi-heal, and you can do... Sure, knuckle sandwich. Yeah, but sword dance honestly does more damage than knuckle dance. Or knuckle sandwich. Yeah, that does about the same as his regular attack would. If I could just get an ability that does a little bit more damage than what his regular ability is. Try that. Oh, you have Sword Dance too? Then you're gonna use that, and then you're gonna heal up. And there we go, we defeated Ogdemir. <laughs> Think that I'm defeated a mere puppet, a mere mortal could best me ridiculous, absurd, la laughable. <laughs> I'm the Demon King, the Supreme Lord of Evil, the darkness that shall shatter all life and light. You may have defeated my physical form, but it is just nothing. It's a mere best. My soul will live on. So that's how we got everlasting peace. There we go, we did it. Yep, and that's how pretty much the period of time that we were just in now, in the present, had everlasting peace because we ended up coming back in time and defeating the Demon Lord. And he's technically gone for good now. But what's next, you're probably wondering. Who knows? Let's get the hell out of here. And find out. But I might have to take a brief break. Though I've been defeated, I shall return. May ill fate haunt the rest of your days, and your precious almighty may never return. And by defeating the demon king in the bat in the in the past, we have unlocked that island that we went to back in the day with the roamers, the shrine of the almighty. Do you remember the world as it was when you set on your quest, when there was but a single island set in the shining fabric of the sea? It was through your unwavering efforts that the world has restored its rightful state, and the evil king blah 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 blah. Your journey's not over. Yep, so we have to go and resurrect the Almighty. But how do we do that, you're probably wondering. Yeah, let's go tell Mary Bell we beat the, uh... We beat the... We beat, uh... We beat the Demon King. But before we do that, we're actually gonna go save the game. And I'm gonna take a brief break. Brief for you. 
What? I gotta use the teleporter? This is my only fault with the emulator, is like, I wish that there was a save state. Because I would have loved the save state. And I hope that this, this uh, emulator eventually gets a save state. I could eat a horse. So yeah, pretty much... Now that we've defeated the Demon King and the, um, the Altar of the Almighty is back, we can, uh, we can look for the Torvon player to help Ash do her dance and, uh... Yeah, hopefully we'll find that guy soon. Or gal. Could be guy or gal. Or non-binary pal. <laughs> so yeah, the game is not over. You think after defeating the ge Demon King, the game would be over, but not necessarily. Anyways, I am actually going to take a quick break. And I will be back, and we will continue on with what we were doing. So I've been Kenshin, uh, yeah, I'll just save it over this one. I've been Kenshin 1913, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And, uh, yeah, let's go tell Mary Bell that we defeated the Demon Lord. Without her help. Way to go, Mary Bell. Way to go. Anyways, yeah, so... Yeah, the old Lady Maribel. You missed the old feisty her, huh? Well, maybe if you didn't be so dotting with her and be like, hey, you can go out and play. Although, I guess he's still not doing too good. So, I guess Maribel has a reason to be as nice as she could possibly be. Well, let's go tell her. Hey, Maribel. Yeah, we beat the Demon King. Now we gotta revive the Almighty. I wish I'd been there, and I wish I could go with you now, but I have to stay here. It's just the way it is. <clears throat> that sucks, Mary Bell. No one wants to see you. No one wants to see your dreams crushed because you wanted, uh... Yeah, she's putting her, her parents' happiness before her own, which really sucks. She shouldn't have to, but sometimes you do. But defeating the Demon Lord is pretty damn cool. It's super duper bragging rights. It's like, Maribel, what did you do? Oh, I helped my dad feel better. Well, what did we do? Oh, we stopped the Demon Lord from, uh... We stopped the Demon Lord, uh... From doing all kinds of bad things. What have you been up to? Oh, you know. And yeah, apparently... Um... <coughs> even, uh... Even our folks were a little worried about us. How nice. Alright, so we're just going to go talk to a few other folk. And then we're going to head off to... <coughs> wherever the hell the music place is. music I know I know once I see the name I'll, I'll be like oh yeah there's the music place but at, at this moment I don't remember where it is and yeah here's the woodcutter apparently there was a place deep in the woods with a press of darkness on in there but not anymore my friends tell me that this morning everything sweet is in light again yep everything feels lighter Let's restore the Almighty. And give yet more to Twitter about. Oh, good. We just need more of Twitter, huh? I don't know about that, Melvin. Where is the damn... There we go. Let's go tell, go tell King Burns 
about uh, about our wonderful adventures, and then we'll head off to the music area, like I mentioned. Maybe even our uncle might be pretty. Pl Here you are, Uncle Pike. What's up? Feels like everything's right in the world. Yeah, that's true. Yours truly, that's right, good old Pike. Allow me to elaborate. You'll soon see that this whole thing's gonna happen last night as I dreamt I was fighting a huge horrible monster single handedly and I won. Amazing, huh? I woke up this feeling of things being all peaceful and nice wafting through town like a spring breeze. I don't think so. We took out a demon king and beat him. There's no problem by sleeping. So yeah, there you go. Pike is uh, pretty much a scumbag. Still scumbag Pike. Yeah, sometimes the hero will suffer slings and arrows of both hero and um, her friend and foe. So what are you gonna do? You can't win them all, I guess. We'll see if the king's up here. Yeah, so apparently the king is sad. But he's happy that his son is finding a purpose in life. All parents pray that their children will one day find what they're born to do. And I guess Kiefer's thing was born to make... Born to have a descendant who will have a kid, who will eventually have a kid, who will have a kid, who will have a kid, who will eventually become the descendant of him and, I don't know. Yes, I do want to speak to him. And both the king and princess are here. I mean, I guess Princess Lisa is going to take over when it's all over. You know, they really bitch at me about, like, oh, don't overstay your welcome. Well, what the hell, man? I just saved the world. I don't know what he wants, but the most important thing is, besides, it won't change his mind if he wanted him to. Yeah, it looks like the king's sitting here having a good time. Hey, king. King Burns, what's up? Oh, there you are. Your timing is impeccable. I was polishing off my last morsel of supper. Take a seat. Gabbo there with his feet wiggling. Yeah, no, our journey is not at a final end yet. And yet you still have to undo what the Demon King did. Yes, we do. Yeah, well, Kiefer, you know, he didn't even come with us to do the whole, the whole, uh, thing where he came with us. You know, we had to do that ourselves, damn it. We had to go bring everybody ourselves. We had no help from Kiefer. He basically came up the rear, pretty much. I want to see if this is the book. I don't think this is. Oh no, this is good. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Actually, there is one thing that oh, friggin' Arvis, you're not three seven. Damn, man. Okay, Arvis is not done with his uh. We're gonna have to all trades Abby really quick. Because we're going 
turn Gabbo into something else. We turn him into a pirate. We're gonna turn him into a god hand, or just unless he already knows god hand. Oh, he didn't learn. Oh, he didn't master that. He mastered hero, paladin, pirate, monster master, gladiator. He pretty much pretty much mastered everything that I want him to master. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just turn him into a hero, where he'll learn all the greatest of abilities. And then, as you can see. He's wearing the Zenithian helmet, which is his wolfie is wearing the Zenithian helmet, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's really nothing. I mean, I could make him a paladin or even a champion, but I'll just have him be a hero. And that's pretty much it. Ruff's pretty much going to be a hero for the remainder of the game. It would be nice if uh, I could make him a hero yet still have his uh, old costume. It's unfortunate. I mean, I do like the aspect of being able to see your, to being able to see your hero, your character as a different, as a different, uh, you know, sh sprite every time. But there, I wish there was an option that you could just be like, yeah, just make him look like the default version, because I, I actually like the default version. So the musical island is to the north, and we might as well fly there as we get to hear terrific music. And there's the Romer camp with the Isle of God, and we cannot land here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we can land there. Wow, okay. I was thinking we wouldn't be able to land here. We'd have to walk the whole way like we did a long, long time ago. But, fair enough. Alright, here's Madra. Or whatever the hell it's called. Now. Okay, let's go talk to the queen and see if they've uh, collected all the individuals. The tour band tournament. But yeah, pretty much everybody's gonna, by the end of the game, everybody's gonna be wearing a red cape and having the sigil of the hero on them. Just about to start the festival of fine music. I've decided to call it Hubstock, similar to similar to Woodstock, except it's Hub, Hub as in H-U-B-B. -B. So now we have to head over to the Grand Turek, whatever the hell the name of the damn thing is. It would be interesting, to be honest. Like, if each character had their own, um, sigil. Like, Gabo's was like a wolf, a red wolf on the back of his, of his cape. Like, I get Melvin's because he's, like, literally the hero. But it would be pretty cool to see, like, um, like, it, like a dancer or something for, um, Arya or... Yeah, consider that extreme laziness just flying back and forth. Hello. Yeah, they're hanging out and we have a we have a couple of people over here. We got two musicians. This guy kinda looks like Chrono or Crispin. Apparently his teacher dad told him to try it out, I guess. And then you have this guy. So there you go. Oh, you have other people over here, too. Apparently there's a lot. And here's the music man himself. Well, look at that. He's not taking the part of the tournament? That's a shame. Alright, so let's get this tournament underway. Yeah, and the back of Aris' cape could be either the regular um, hero sigil from like Airdrick's time or um, even a fish would be cool. But yeah, as you recall, 
in the fight of the Almighty versus uh, Demon King, you had the Almighty, and then four little balls around this, and then Melvin. Maybe we'll see what those other powers were. But you want me to say something? Oh, who, oh we gotta give him the tour band. Yeah, because if they can't play this right, then forget it. They might as well go home. Jimmy. Like Jimi Hendrix? Boo, get off your stink. Wow. That's not nice to say. Boy, I suck. You know what? You know what? You tried. You had the courage to enter the tournament. You tried. I mean, I know there's no participation trophy, but... Eddie! Eddie Van Halen. Is that who that's supposed to be? You know what I mean? What's that supposed to be? God, they're heckling the hell out of these guys. I don't get it. Usually it's better than that. So you got Jimmy and Eddie Van Halen, I'm assuming. Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen. Next guy up, Slash. Chris Ben. It's a poisonous snake. No, I don't... Is that the same guy? No, his name's Cedric. Crispin, I think, is the wizard in King's Quest V. stuff was much better. Yeah, what the hell, dude? How'd you screw that up, man? Lemmy, all right, Lemmy, from Motorhead, I love it, the Ace of Spades, let's do it, the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Spades, and don't forget the Joker, what have we done to deserve these desperately poor, poor performance, these guys are super duper mean, I mean, I guess you could boo. I, you know, you gotta show your discontent and heckling up. And then, yeah, next up is Ying Wei. I'm sure that that's someone, but I don't really know who it is. Are we gonna like literally sit through all these guys? Please, for the love of God, I don't even want to sit through all this. That's the worst. Yeah, don't give up your day job. Are you taking the Mickey or what? As the day wears on. The hopes of Crosby's performance fading fast. Wow, 
so we saw a bunch of shit. Take Crispin and stab him. Wow, that's a pretty nasty remark. that Richard Torbon smash it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, she's pissed. head roll if something doesn't happen. Yeah, this is totally a Goku moment right here where he's like, oh, Gohan, you're gonna fight. And he's like, what? He was rubbish. Lovely. Play again or you better die. You're gonna die. Your dad's gonna die. And there you go. He can play it. scream in silence now. And then the morning comes and everybody's wasted with hangovers. Hubstock. Oh, I get it, because it's Hubble. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Aren't you pleased that you asked me for help? Yes, I am, please. <clears throat> you may have any reward of your choosing. Teachers raised me since finding me abandoned in the woods all those years ago, so they're not even father and son. Wow, that's that's interesting. We're best friends? I don't know about that. So now Crispin the Bard joins our group. <clears throat> Crispin or Chrono joins our group. And no one has any... Okay. I was just going to warp out of here, but alright. We'll pay some respects. Did you hear me play my own axe? It'll blow you away. It'll rock your world. It'll knock your socks off. It'll make you poo your pants. I know how to play the brown note.
Oh, I hear you're off to revive the Almighty like it's just nothing you can do. Hanging out in dark bars with hot, with hot chicks to practice. Forget the funeral. I mean, I don't remember the funeral. You just spend years trying to just get one of them, Mike. Right? The life's too short. Yeah, you have to learn all the songs you can and share them with as many people as you can. Your duty to me and to music. All right, let's get the show on the road. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting that's an interesting perspective, Melvin. Have you ever thought what you would do happen if I died? And Wow. All right, Master, it's been a pleasure. But yeah, like the old man, like Melvin said, you know, you know, only as you notice that your time is becoming short do you really like cherish. They really cherish like all the time you got, which is interesting. You know, young people don't really notice that. But he's as good as Florin was. That's a good question. All right, so let's warp back to the Romer camp. Or we'll just warp back to Esterd. Hopefully I can revive the Almighty before the end of this video. I'm at 38, I think. So let's land over here. Head in the Romer camp, see what's going on with them. Did they already leave? They already left? How they know to already go? What the frig? At least Keeper's not behind them. You know, whatever. Alright, so now we get to fly over here. I'm curious if this cave has any treasures. Oh, look at this. We've got enemies from when we fought over there. Interesting. Let's put it on fight. Don't use magic. Don't come up here, kitty. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna spray you. I don't wanna spray you. But yeah, interesting that there's these enemies in here. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know. There doesn't appear to be any treasures. Oh, hey, here's a guy. Here, here's a guy. White Prowlers. Yeah, at this point, I think Gabo has to get back to whatever, uh, Proficiency he was, and look, we got new enemies, fright urns. I think he has to, has to get back to whatever proficiency he was at. Like, and it takes like so many battles. 
before he'll be back to whatever master class he was at. But this is fairly <coughs> interesting that these enemies are showing up in here. Yeah, and Gabo still knows all the abilities that he learned as a dude in here. And we got another new enemy, Oinkubus. They got that really hot breath. They must have, uh, must have, uh, eaten some curry or something. Let's try to get by this guy. Have him leave me the hell alone. We'll probably, to be honest, end up running into these guys, um, in the next cave as well. So yeah, here's the roamer encampment again, not here. And yeah, I figured, what the hell, we'll just run over, because here's the thing. There could potentially be a treasure chest over here. And the easiest way to get there, or the easiest way to, uh, find it is just running on the ground here. Okay, here we are at the Romer camp. of the blessings and miracle. I'm just an ordinary guy. Yes, he is capable of playing it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, the altar's at the bottom of the pool. We've done this before. We can we can get it. We can get it drained. But yeah, well, I guess we're gonna do this tomorrow. time we did this we had a party of three now we have a party well technically it's a party of four and this time it's a party of five okay, I can't believe uh the Almighty's down there. I mean, he was down there before, and we tried it before, but it wasn't the time. And I think it wasn't the time because... I think it wasn't the time because the... You know, all the evil wasn't destroyed yet. Don't let her down. Make me laugh. Don't worry about her letting me down. You just you wait, babe. Yeah, Ron Barrow will give us Barrow will give us the the chimes and all that. Well, I bet if we don't even bother bring back the Almighty, it'd be fine because the world's pretty nice right now. I mean.
Yep, so you're gonna give us the chimes of the chosen. Just like a long time ago, we got these so that we can sink the bell or sink the water. All right, so we're pretty much done here. Yeah, free to marry whoever you want, and you don't have to literally... You don't have to literally just uh, do whatever you want. Your happiness depends on her, huh? On them, on us. Is there anything? No. Unfortunately, I am going to have to... I'm going to stop the episode here, because... Here's the thing. We, um... And I could just warp here. I could just fly here with the... With the thing next time. But, yeah, there's no place to save. And I'm going to actually stop the video here. Um, because... I had... About 12 minutes in the last episode. And we're getting about... 35, so I, I, I'm trying to get, I'm gonna try to keep these episodes around 45, 50 minutes. And so yeah, I'm gonna save the game here, and then the next episode, we're gonna uh, resurrect the Almighty. And see what, if that's the end of the game, is there aftermath things? What's happening? So I've been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.